Welcome. The second chapter is about water, and uh, water has some interesting uh, specifics or characteristics that I'd like to point out and summarize. It's for me, teaching chemistry, but as a biologist, is a very important uh, chapter because water means life. Uh, some of the specifics. A high heat capacity. That means that in, er in order to heat up water, you need a lot of energy. That sounds like a bad thing. It sounds like a bad thing, like for instance, if you're um, waiting for your tea. Um, you have to boil the heat. It costs a lot of energy, but it's actually a good thing. It means that we can travel outside in the open sunlight and not heat up too much. So it takes a lot of energy, a lot of heat, yeah, in order to raise our temperature. The density, something really odd is going on with water here. Because most of the, most of the other substances, um, if we have the solid, it sinks and the liquid stays on top. But you know that uh, with water, it's the other way around. We have ice, which is the solid, and it floats on top of water. Also very important for us to ice skate, for example. Yeah? And that way, a whole lake does not freeze entirely, but only a superficial layer. And some interesting facts, uh, dissolving ca capacity. The dissolving cap capacity of water is very high, but only to certain uh, substances. If we're talking about dissolving stuff in water, we're actually talking about mixing here. And I'd like to point out there's two types of mixing. We can mix a solid in with water, being a liquid, or we can mix a liquid with a liquid. Now, if I start with a liquid, and a solid, the liquid being water, the first is a solution. So if I dissolve a solid in my water, it could turn into a solution. And one of the examples could be uh, sugar in water. Yeah? It dissolves very rapidly, very good. Um, and you get a clear solution, and it can never be white. And so therefore, what we think of a solution like milk yeah, is not a solution, but it's suspension. Yeah? The tiny milk particles will not dissolve and still float in my liquid. If we, however, may uh, dissolve a, a, a solid in a liquid and the liquid is not water, but for example, uh, in this case, uh, alcohol, we call it a tincture, like iodine drops that your mom or your dad dropped over a wound that you might recently uh, have gotten. Now, the tincture means um, something is dissolved in alcohol. So, solution or suspension. Right, back to my liquid, we can mix a liquid with another liquid, of course, and it could be a mixture. If the two, mi uh, if the two mix well, and it's a mixture, you can't tell which part is uh, one or the other liquid. They have mixed. It could also be an emulsion, and I'd like to show you this. This is a very known emulsion. Yeah, you can clearly see yeah, that a layer appears. What I did here was, uh, this is oil over water. And as you can clearly see, the oil is a different layer than water. Um, and I can shake this. I can shake it. And if I hold, if I wait long enough, what we will see is that the oil moves up again and the water um, goes back down. So it looks like now we have a, a mixture, but it really isn't if we have some more patience. Um, in order to make, to make uh, this oil mix a bit better with my water, you can see this layer is appearing, I can use an emulsifier. And you can see an emulsifier with a lot of foodstuffs. For example, uh, mayonnaise is made from only oil, plant-based oil, but um, Friedshaus is made from oil and water. And the two don't mix, as you can clearly see here. The two don't mix. You use an emulsifier. An emulsifier is a large molecule that looks like a sort of a ball, which is hydrophilic. Yeah, philic means love, hydro means water. So the ball loves water, and the tail is hydrophobic, and hydrophobe means being afraid of water. So this turns away from water onto the oil, and hydrophilic, it turns towards oil. So we get tiny, tiny droplets surrounded by these balls with a tail, and that seems 
that we have a mixture here, but it's not really the case. Look at home um, on a lot of food products that have uh, oil and water, and you can see that there's an emulsifier in there yeah, to mix the two up, but it's not really a mixture, as I'd like to point out multiple times in this video. Right, so far, water, this almost entire, uh, covers the uh, chapter 2 entirely, except for the last uh, few bits. I'll make another video about it. So far, so good. So, um, happy chemistry.